Life can change any moment. For me, it was the day my mother died. A drunk driver hit her car, and we lost her forever. As a child, you can't fully understand. You know your family was the victim, but you can't change what happened. One person's criminal act changed my family forever and shaped my entire life. In college, my father got sick. He had colon cancer. This time, I could do something. I came back from college every weekend to care for him, but also to be his voice against insurance companies and hospital administrators. His final dream was for me to go to law school. Right before he died, he sent a $100 check to St. John's Law School to pay the deposit. I became an attorney not only to fulfill his dream, but seeing myself and other victims, I wanted to use the law to bring justice to people in a way that I never got. Then, I found a new way to take on powerful interests. I ran as an outsider the first time against the party establishment. They said I shouldn't run, and I couldn't win. But I'm not a quiet person, and I'm not a quitter. I outworked them and won. As a legislator, I passed legislation to give victims of child sexual abuse more time to report their abusers, and gave women greater access to reproductive health care. And I fought for workers, getting them fair wages and better working conditions. As borough president, I tackled tough issues like getting guns off our streets, giving people a second chance by sealing convictions and warrant forgiveness programs, taking on Trump and helping end biases in our justice system. Everyone wants safe streets, but everyone knows our system needs reform. I want to be the district attorney because we have a chance to have such change here in the borough of Queens, but we're being left behind. We still have cash bail here in this borough. We still don't have discovery reform. People are still making plea bargains without even knowing the evidence against them. We don't have after school programs. We don't have violence intervention programs that are partnered with our district attorney. We need a way to keep our kids out of jail, out of the system, as well as given fairness and equity while in the system. I've seen injustice. I've lived an injustice that continues to shape my world. And I dedicated my life to making sure others won't experience the same.